G'day again, welcome back. Today I'm going to look at the difference between the sound quality of Apple Music versus Spotify versus a streaming platform such as a Raspberry Pi streaming, uh, playing into a DAC, um, streaming from a local storage, playing black CD rips. We'll see which one has the edge. Okay, as you can see, nice background on Apple Music. That comes up when you're playing music, which is pretty uh, relaxing, which is a, in a, one of the advantages of it, um, which I'll go into in a second. But, um, yeah, here's Apple Music. As you can see, we've got a pretty, um, pretty diverse range of music influence there and likes. Um, so first off the bat, this is what I did. I've tried um, Spotify. Now we know that Spotify is not lossless yet, so it's not a really fair comparison. But um, yeah, I was playing even Spotify through the Raspberry Pi, through the Volumeo platform. And um, so it's going to a DAC, and then and log out to an AVR, which goes to a power amp, which then feeds two magnet point seven speakers. So it's a fair, fair setup. Um, so yeah, sounded pretty nice. Sounded pretty good. Probably the best I've heard Spotify sound on a on a system for a long time. But then I switched over playing the same time course. Um, for example, might have been yeah. Die Straits or something like that. So then I switched over to Apple Music and definitely Apple Music at the edge being that it is lossless but I suppose the downside to Apple Music is I have to play it on my Apple TV and from a HDMI out into the AVR which then goes to the power amp to the speakers. Now I can play it through as we all know or most of us, most of us will know somewhat I can play it through a iPad or a iOS device. You can go USB out of that, of the lightning port, into the DAC. But it's just too cumbersome. You've got to jump over and when you want to switch tracks, so it's okay if you want to play an album and you sit back and da 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 da. But then there's an occasion where you might be on low battery, then you've got to get another sort of cable, the two, yeah, yeah, forget about it. It's just inconvenience, the word I'm looking for there. So anyway, yeah, it sounded, yeah, it sounded good because I've been listening to Apple Music for the last probably, yeah, two or three months now, and really enjoying it. So now I thought, ah, oh, okay, as most of us audiophile or beginner audiophiles do, which I think I am, um, always trying, always learning. Um, I tried to get my, well, did I move my Raspberry Pi, which is in another room, playing in a smaller system, with a Topping E30 DAC, with the Volumeo. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, software installed. And um, yeah, so I played that, just playing all your classic generic audio files sort of stuff, Diana Crawl, Die of Straits, The Police, um, da 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 da. So playing that through the system, and um, yeah, sounded great, as we all know it should do, because it's playing directly off the NAS, um, which, is our, which I have all my CDs ripped under that in flat format. I also have a Pretty good collection of DSD two channel music, which I was playing that as well. Um, how I would describe it is it's you know, definitely a lot more detailed than the Apple Music in one way. Um, what it does lack, I find the Apple Music has more what's the word? Probably excitement, a bit more action. Um, it's, it's a little bit better in the bass, but not boomy bass. Apple Music still does have the um, the highs and the detail, um, whereas the Raspberry Pi streaming option is yeah, a bit more polite. I'm sure if I would get a audio files in this room and I did a testing, they would pick, they would definitely pick the the streaming option through the Raspberry Pi for the DAC as the number one. But then I'm pretty sure if you got just anyone from the general public would say. <laughs> um, um, they will pick the Apple Music going through the AVR via HDMI. Now, why do I say that? Is because it just sounds a lot more exciting. Um, a, lot more, a lot more action. It sounds like a movie soundtrack. Music sounds like a movie soundtrack, especially with heavy rock, just like general rock, uh, especially with metal music, um, 
that's there. You can really hear the, the drums are like thunder. Do yourself a tip. Like here's, a, here's a tip for you. If you've got Apple Music and you've got it through an AVR with subwoofers, listen to... This will blow your socks off. Listen to... Uh, da, 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 kiss. Then go... Chris of the Night. And I think you know where I'm going. I love it loud. The drums on the start of that. I did an A-B testing that through the um, streaming Raspberry Pi and then back to the Apple Music and through the Raspberry Pi, yeah, it sounds a lot more more clearer, more cleaner, I suppose. Sounds like, you know, like the you know, that sort of stuff. And then you play it through here. Oh, the subs just come alive. You sort of hear it in your left and right ears, the bass going boom, boom, boom. Oh, superb. So, yeah, definitely try, try that one out. And while I'm on here, also, what's very important is, you can see right up top, the lossless and Apple Digital Master. There's, I've found a massive dis difference between the Apple, Apple Digital Master and the lossless. If I play a straight lossless and compare it to the uh, streaming option with the Raspberry Pi, I'll probably give it to the Ras Raspberry Pi there. It's, it's, it's yeah, much more, yeah, it's much nicer to sit back and listen to that. Much more cleaner sound, much more detailed sound. But you go anything that's got an Apple Digital Master, I definitely prefer the um, Apple Music. That's where you really get the the bigger bass stuff. Um, even like the stereo separation is better and a bit more enveloping sound. Um, yeah, much much prefer that. So, I suppose in a nutshell, I'd um, to declare a winner is pretty tough. I probably do find I listen to the Apple TV, Apple Music much more. It's just an easier setup to use. I can just pick up this Apple remote, press the on button. I've got a um, learning remote that will turn everything on. Then I'm going to use that for the volume as well. Um, and as you saw, the screensaver when the music's been on for about two minutes, a nice screensaver comes in the background where it changes. It goes through cities of the world, New York, London, and you get the like a fish tank sort of thing. Might sound a bit gimmicky, but it is actually pretty cool. Um, yeah, with the Volumeo, you've got to you've got to pretty much look at the Apple iPad screen. Um, yeah, you, you probably can get it on a big screen, but it's not worth the, the hassle once again. This is just a much easier option. Um, but as we all know, nothing's perfect in the audio world, and you've got to make compromises, as we all know. So the compromise with Apple Music is, um, yeah, it's not that perfect audio file, crisp, clear detail sound, although some tracks can have that. Um, I suppose you don't have control over the um, what album you want to listen to, where is the Volumeo, yeah, because I've got all my albums stored on a on an AS drive. I can pick between three or four different of the same albums, a different mix, so I can pick the original mix or the or the remix or the remaster, da 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 da. So that's that's a good thing there. You be yeah, pretty much determined by why Apple give you so um no no very um yeah very pleased with that up so as far as a winner it's hard to tell i probably yeah probably will give it to the apple tv overall um for it to be a clear winner apple tv they've got to bring out an apple tv box with a digital out connection or either a spdif or a usb out which carries the audio in a bit perfect bit perfect stream um where you can connect that to a DAC or connect it straight to your AVI through the um, digital inputs. So hopefully Apple will get on board and bring something like that out and then I think they've got a, a clear a clear winner. Or be like Spotify and have like a Spotify Connect, have an Apple Connect. Why can't they why can't they do that? I know they're a bit always Apple were nervous about giving away all their secrets and blah 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 blah. But um yeah. So anyway, we'll wrap this up, and so definitely Spotify's out until they get their lossless um, system going, so that should be a, a good thing to test out. Um, I will still keep the Volume Volumeo um, streaming option in play, I think. Um, as I said, um, there's some albums I do prefer, especially, you know, you're sort of the jazz, jazzy sort of stuff, and your more sort of mellow sort of rock stuff. Um, it's much better on there, but as far as your your heavy rock and metal and 
all that sort of gear, definitely Apple Music is the way to go. So, thanks for watching. Hope this helps you out a bit. Uh, please subscribe and like this video if you choose to, and I will see you later. Bye.